And today's episode, we're going to be talking about um, what's happening at, at Lake Powell, Hoover Dam, Lake Mead, like all of that stuff. We're driving right now to Lake Powell to see how this thing looks like. And I got to tell you, it's it's pretty crazy. I just did a trip there recently. And I got to tell you, after checking everything out, it's just, it's pretty bad how everything looks like. So let's go ahead and go over to Lake Powell first. And we're going to end up in Lake Mead. And you guys got to see this for yourselves. The first thing I'm going to start off with is I went over to the bridge over to the dam at Lake Powell to look over and you could definitely see that water line. There's also a small little hike right off the bridge that you can take and there's some people out there in their boats and stuff like that but the levels is so bad so I went down to the to do a kayak tour and I went to walk down in one of the launches which also they only have one launch that's available all the other launches are closed because the water level is too low and just walking up this one I'm like oh this doesn't look too bad and the closer I got I started to realize that the water was not coming up to the launch and walked all the way to the edge and there's no water um, I think there's like a 20 foot drop from here to the ground pretty insane now here's a video of me uh, three years ago. This is in 2019 September and Here is me at the kayak tour. And you can see how the water level is and the top of these hills Now this was me this weekend doing the same kayak tour and Same exact place and it is Insanely low the water is just going less and less and less now I did hear there is a gorge a little further up north that did release water because this place was completely bone dry. And you could see videos out there, you can go to Google Earth and search, but this place was super dry back in May of 2022. Now when I did come over here to the Hoover Dam, um, I, I, I wanted to see how bad it was. And you could see here where the levels are, where the water was, and they had like a dock for boats off of the, the Hoover Dam. You can see this thing is just there. It's it's on the dirt now. Um, the water levels here used to come up pretty close to the bridge. And from what I remember, it even went up to the bridge. You could even see some movies from Chevy Chase, like Vegas Vacation, where they go to the Hoover Dam and they see how full the water is. It's not like that here anymore. Not even, not even close. I did walk over to the side where they have the spillage, um, the overflow. And even that was incredibly low. It's crazy. It was bone dry. There's no reserve, no nothing. Normally they have water here. And just looking at this, you see the big old hole right here where all the water caves in or goes into and then it shoots the other side on the other side of the dam. Nothing. And as you can see here, I'm just looking over, trying to see what I can find. And it is just... It's it's unbelievable what the Hoover Dam how it looks like right now, and I think it's if they don't do something about this, it's going to get worse. Now they did close the tour a couple times. I was lucky that they did have it open. The very next day they had to close it down for whatever reasons. Now I did get to Lake Mead to the marina. This is the last marina. Um, or it's it's next to the last boat launch in this area and I gotta say there's people out here that are driving and they'll get stuck in the mud you see the tire tracks here they get stuck now this is how shallow the water is and if you see this it is very very shallow and then there's the marina there's the boats these guys are pretty much screwed at this point I don't know if they're gonna be able to get their boats out but those water levels, and you see how the land is coming, they have construction going right now where they're pushing dirt further down. And there's talks about them moving this marina over to the other side of this m little mountain right here, which again, used to be a little tiny island and the water has just receded that much. 
Now I did drive over to the other side where I did find some of those barrels and there's videos, there's things in the news of saying people are finding bodies within these things or finding bones. I don't know how, like what happened or where, why, how, or who was involved or nothing, but there's a lot of stuff that's being uncovered within Lake Mead and you guys could probably take a guess on that. But as you see, the water is going back so far, so fast, and it is just insane what it is doing. I, I honestly don't know um, what's going to happen here, and, and, and it, it, it does look like if they don't do nothing about it, this lake could disappear altogether. They're pretty much praying that something happens in the Colorado Rockies that fills it up with snow, and then it comes down, and then everybody gets their drink of water. But as of right now... Your guess is as good as mine on what's happening. Um, global warming, I know, is a real thing. Um, and it even looks like there's some fishes that never existed here that are starting to exist. And they're trying to survive just like everything else in this lake. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's crazy what's happening here. And uh, Lake Mead also, um, as you can see, all the stops are just crazy bad and it's gonna get a lot worse if um somebody don't do something about it quick but let me know what you guys think um if you guys have gone to the hoover dam take the tour before who knows what could happen if you guys haven't been to lake mead or lake powell make the trip before it's no longer there you never know what's going to happen or or if they do resolve some of this stuff you know hopefully they do hopefully they could fix everything and and we see something much better um, it's summertime, so it's hot. It's very hot, so bring some water as you guys are walking around or doing any of the kayaking or any stuff like that. But hope you guys appreciated this video. Um, with all that being said, hope you guys are are taking care. Um, be careful this summer. Again, weather's all crazy, and it's just weather just nuts. So, um, with that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and we'll see you guys in the next one.